Are you looking to profit from a new exciting industry? Want to make some green cannabis money? Like the idea of collecting safe, growing dividends for years to come? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. It helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. The cannabis industry is building up in the United States as legalization becomes more widespread. While laws vary from state to state, we're clearly on a path to full federal legalization at some point in the near future. And that path is lined with green money. I've heard from time to time that dividend growth stocks are yesterday's news, that any company paying a growing dividend is focused on yesterday's industries. Well, that's just not true. Many high quality dividend growth stocks are focused on supplying tomorrow's demand. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to pay those growing dividends. I can point to FinTech, AI, and 5G as examples of areas where you can invest and collect safe growing dividends. The cannabis industry is yet another example. There are a number of high quality dividend growth stocks out there directly exposed to cannabis. And while the near term looks a little bit bumpy, the long-term future looks bright and very profitable. That means lots of money to be made and lots of big, safe, growing dividends to collect. Today, I wanna tell you about three high-quality dividend growth stocks set to benefit and profit from cannabis. Better yet, each of these three stocks offer a unique one-two punch. They already have great business models, but they've combined those great business models with cannabis to supercharge future growth. Ready to explore these three dividend growth stocks? Let's dig in. The first stock I wanna tell you about is Altria Group Inc. stock ticker MO. Altria is known as a tobacco giant. What's less known is that it's directly exposed to cannabis. That's because Altria owns 45% of Kronos Group Inc., a Canadian-based cannabis company. Tobacco and cannabis. Seems like a marriage made in heaven. Altria is set to benefit from the burgeoning cannabis industry. But here's the thing. Altria has been a great long-term investment without cannabis. And regardless of the success of its Kronos ownership stake, it'll almost certainly continue to be a great long-term investment. It's just that the cannabis exposure is like a cherry on top of a beautiful sundae. That Sunday is so beautiful largely because of the 51 consecutive years in which Altria has increased its dividend. Altria built up that long-term track record long before the thought of a legal cannabis industry in the U.S. ever existed. But if cannabis can give them a nice boost from here, all the better. With tobacco usage in secular decline and regulatory risks as high as ever, cannabis can potentially breathe new life and growth into the business. Meanwhile, this stock can give your passive dividend income a huge boost via the 6.6% yield the stock offers. On top of that yield is growth, as Altria's five-year dividend growth rate is 9.7%. And even though the stock is up 20% year to date, the price to cash flow ratio of 10.9 is well below its three-year average of 13.9. If you want a high quality dividend growth stock with a big growing dividend that could become even bigger and growthier through its cannabis exposure, Altria should definitely be on your list. Second up, Let's discuss Constellation Brands Inc. stock ticker STZ. Constellation is one of the largest beer companies in the world with over 100 different brands under its umbrella. They don't only do beer though, they also have wine and spirits. More importantly, and more to the point of today's video, they also have cannabis exposure. That's due to their near 39% ownership stake in Canopy Growth, another Canadian cannabis company. The beer business is a great business, and this business is set to become even greater with their cannabis exposure. What's really interesting about this play is that Constellation can benefit in more ways than one. They can benefit from broadening legality and more cannabis sales, sure, 
but they can also creatively benefit by virtue of new beverages infused with cannabis, giving them a nice one-two punch. That should help them to hand out bigger dividends year after year for many years to come. Constellation has already increased its dividend for six consecutive years. However, some of the recent dividend increases have been pretty small. We're talking less than 1%. And with the stock yielding only 1.3%, it'd be nice to see a much higher growth rate. Well, this business could be off to the races. As we move past the pandemic, beverage sales start to pick up and the cannabis industry continues its momentum. The stock doesn't look super cheap with a price to earnings ratio of 26, but consider this, it's been a phenomenal long-term investment. The stock is up almost 1000% over the last 10 years. And that was mostly before the cannabis investment. Think of what they could do after. If you'd like a cannabis investment, or even if you just want a major foothold in the beer industry, Constellation should definitely be strongly considered. Last but not least, I wanna tell you about Innovative Industrial Properties, Inc., stock ticker IIPR. Innovative Industrial Properties is a real estate investment trust that owns and manages medical use cannabis facilities. Real estate has long been a way to make a lot of money. Cannabis has long been a, well, less legal way to make money. This company combines those two industries into one business model. This company went public in 2016. It's still a young pup with plenty of exciting potential still ahead. Meanwhile, because of its status as a REIT, a large growing dividend is par for the course. They've wasted no time on this front. The company has increased its dividend for five consecutive years already, and they could be just getting started. The stock yields 2.9% right now, and the three-year dividend growth rate is 141.6%. If you think cannabis has a bright future, then this company almost can't help but do extremely well. This stock has compounded at an annual rate of 82% over the last three years. Wow. This thing is up more than 150% over the last year alone. I get it, it's tough to buy a stock after it's already gone on a huge run. And with a price to cash flow ratio of 32.6, it's not an obvious bargain. But again, this business could be just getting started. Getting that one-two punch of cannabis and real estate through IIPR is a very, very compelling way to play this new industry. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did, and let us know in the comments what you think about these three stocks. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including a link to my personal stock portfolio. This six figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.